be a day and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give me a follow on Facebook. Today, we're going to be reading Mummy Math, An Adventure in Geometry by Cindy Neuschwander. Let's get into it! Before we read the book, let's go over some solid geometric shapes. A cube has six equal square faces. A rectangular prism has six faces and its opposite faces are equal. Having five faces, pyramids are named according to the shape of their base. In this photo, the base is a square, making this a square-based pyramid. Cones have one circular face. Triangular prisms have five faces, two of them being triangular. A tetrahedon has four faces, all of them being triangular. They are also known as triangular-based pyramids. A cylinder has two circular faces. A sphere has no faces or sides. cheered Matt Zills. We're going to Egypt. I want to explore pyramids and see mummies. I'm going to learn how to read hieroglyphs so I can unlock the mysteries of the tomb, said his twin sister, Bibi. Matt and Bibi's parents were famous scientists. Their family had been invited to Egypt to help find the mummy of an ancient pharaoh. Dr. Zagazig, the archeologist, greeted them when they arrived at the site. The pyramid was magnificent. This tomb is a complete mystery, said Dr. Zagazig. We can't find the burial chamber anywhere. So the secrets of the Pharaoh will await us, said Dr. Zills eagerly. Let's go. Matt, Bibi, and their dog, Riley, crawled through the tiny opening first. Thwomp! A secret door suddenly closed behind them. Help! yelled Matt. We're locked in and they're locked out. What should we do, wondered BB? Let's go find the mummy. What else can we do? said Matt bravely. The walls of the tomb were covered with colorful hieroglyphs. What do they say? asked Matt. BB read slowly. This king was called the Pharaoh with many faces. He built the most complicated Egyptian pyramid ever. Wow, said Matt. Where's a tour guide when you need one? Look at all these geometric solids, said BB, ignoring Matt's joke. Cones, spheres, cubes, cylinders, pyramids, tetradons, and rectangular and triangular prisms. I wonder what they mean, said Matt. Here's a mysterious message, cried BB. It says, there are many faces inside this pyramid that can guide you to me. Follow them. Matt, this is a clue to finding the Pharaoh. Where do we start? There's a lot of faces on this wall, said Matt. He was looking at a painting of some ancient Egyptians. They're all pointing left. Let's go that way. At that moment, Riley snuffed loudly and ran off into the darkness. He's just chasing cat mummies, joked Phoebe. He'll come back. Matt and Phoebe turned left. Suddenly, the ground opened under them. Whoosh! They slid down a narrow shaft and landed in a small, empty room. Ouch, said Matt, brushing himself off. This place gives me the creeps, at Phoebe. Oh, this will chew you up, said Matt. What's a mummy's favorite music? I give up, said his sister. Rap music! Matt, your corny jokes aren't helping us to find the pharaoh, or the way out. Face it, Beebe, said Matt. We're totally lost. Face it! That's it, Beebe said excitedly. That's what the pharaoh meant. Matt was confused. If you think about faces, what do you think of? asked Beebe. People, said Matt. And maybe mummies too. 
What else has a face? Remember that first picture, cried BB? The flat sides of a geometric solid are called faces. A cylinder has two round faces, a tetrahedron has four tri- triangular faces, a s- and a cube has six square faces. So the sparrow's clues are the faces of solid shapes, said Matt, not people's faces. The twins walked up a steep corridor. Here's another clue, said Bibi. A single face shows the way. This painting showed a mason cutting a large block of limestone. But that block is a rectangular prism, said Bibi. It has six faces. That's five faces too many. The guy shaping the stone looks like he's holding an ice cream cone, Matt giggled. That's the mallet they use to chip away the rock, explained Bibi. But the top part is cone shaped. A cone has a single face. Let's follow it. The cone's face was pointing up, so Matt and Bibi scaled the high wall. On a ledge at the top sat a single round stone. That looks like an Egyptian baseball, said Matt. Workers use rocks like this to hammer out tunnels in the pyramid, said Bibi. It's a sphere, but a sphere doesn't have any faces we can follow. Still, the only way to go is through this tunnel, said Matt, pointing to an opening in the rock. They squeezed through the narrow space and inched along until they reached a wider area. They were dazzled by what they saw. Wow, is this the burial chamber? asked Matt. No, said Phoebe. I think this is the antechamber. It's the room that leads to the burial chamber. It holds everything the pharaoh might need in its next life. There are lots of things here I wouldn't mind having in my present life, said Matt. Except for this 4,000 year old bread. They found the next clue on a piece of papyrus. Looks for six identical faces. A cube, guessed Matt? Maybe this is it, said Bibi. She held her breath and lifted the lid of a carved wooden box. Matt laughed. It's clean underwear for the pharaoh. I guess he'd need that in his next life, Bibi giggled. A second cube-shaped box held the clue they were searching for. It led Matt and Bibi into a room with three gigantic granite towers. The first one was a cylinder with a cone perched on top. The second tower was a five-faced triangular prism with a tetradon on it. The third one was a pyramid on top of a rectangular prism. At the foot of each tower was a closed door. Is the pharaoh behind door number one, door number two, or door number three? asked Matt, bowing and waving at each one. Get serious, said Bibi. The clue in the box told us to enter under the five faces. There had also been a warning. Choose carefully, lest you lose your way forever. I choose door number three, said Matt. That pyramid has four triangular faces and a square base. That makes five faces in all. He started to open the door. Wait, yelled Bibi. She yanked her brother back. The pyramid does have five faces, but it's resting on the top face of a rectangular prism. That makes six faces we would walk under. I think number two is the right door. The tetradon has four faces, and it's sitting on the one face of the triangular prism. That makes five. Let's go. Suddenly, they heard a muffled, mysterious shuffling sound. What's that? whispered Bibi. Matt shivered. A real life mummy? They hurried through the second door. The burial chamber at last. Two rectangular coffins sat on the floor. The shuffling sound was growing louder. Something had followed them. Let's find this pharaoh and get out of here, said Matt nervously. Bibi and Matt tiptoed toward the two dimly lit shapes. The shuffling sound began snuffling, and then howling. Ah! screamed the twins, diving behind the nearest coffin. Bibi peeked around the side. Riley! she cried. You big furry goofball! You scared us! Riley was standing by the other coffin. Matt opened the lid and looked inside. 
He found his cat, he exclaimed. Phoebe looked too. I bet these mummies were the pharaoh's favorite pets. They opened the first coffin. The pharaoh's golden burial mask twinkled up at them. This is the last of the pharaoh's many faces, said Matt. But not the last of his help, Phoebe pointed out. There's a map on the coffin lid to show us the way out of this five-faced mountain of stone. Matt grinned. Awesome! Let's go back and report to Dad and Mummy. Mathematicians, what did we learn today? We learned that a geometric figure that has three-dimensional structures is called a geometric solid. We also learned that the flat size of a geometric solid is called a face. And finally, a geometric figure can have up to 10 faces. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Goodbye, mathematicians!